Hey guys, Eddie from Priority here, and I wanted to talk to you for a little bit about carrying stuff on your bike. So a lot of you out there, you know you need a bike rack to carry stuff, but what do you do once you have a bike rack on your bike? How do you make the best use of the space on the bike rack or on the sides? So I wanted to talk to you about some options for how to make the best use of them. Let's start with the rear rack. This is our 174 Hudson rear rack, bolted onto a beautiful L train here. So let's go through some of the ways that you can attach stuff to it. A really inexpensive and basic way to attach stuff to this rack or any rack is with a bungee cord, or in this case, a bungee net. So you can take an existing bag that you have and just strap it in place with this. So make sure this bike is stable. And then, you know, put your bag or your luggage, whatever you want under there, strap it down. And you're good to go. So you can do various size objects with this. The upside is it's really cheap and simple. The downside is things can kind of flop around or fall out if they're not really secure. Um, and you're a little limited to how to attach stuff. You have to be a bit creative. Another simple way to carry various objects, including bags you already have or groceries, is to take the rack and an off-the-shelf basket like this one from Wald, and then just zip tie that in place onto the rack. Simple attachment system. Easy way to put various size objects in there. This combined with maybe a bungee net on top, great way to carry various things and pretty simple. So the upsides of these is versatility. If you don't really know what you're gonna carry, then it's pretty easy to get a setup working with them. But the downside is that if you're worried about something falling out, uh, this isn't the most secure way to carry everything. Um, the other thing is if you're carrying heavier stuff, the bike gets really top heavy if you're stacking everything on top of the rack. So that's where a pannier is really useful. This is a really good way to hang the weight low, to keep your center of gravity low and keep the bike easy to ride despite heavier weight. Uh, it's also a great way to keep things from falling out because you can close the bag, keep everything in it, and uh, you can take it on and off the bike easily to carry it with you either into a store, into your work, or into your home. And um, if you're me, then you keep your flat repair kit and some of your everyday items in the bag all the time. And then you just add and remove what you need for the day. Yeah, and with a bag like this, you can just easily clip it on and then pop it off when you wanna take it with you. And the bike is still really easy to ride with a setup like this. Doesn't feel super top heavy. Similarly, with a front rack, you can easily just strap stuff to it uh, and keep it right in front of you. It affects the handling of the bike a little bit more when you have stuff on the front that's heavy, but it's also great for quick access stuff or things that you want to keep an eye on when you're riding. Similar to the rear rack, a bungee net is a really great way to attach an existing bag to your rack. Or if you're not quite sure what you're going to put on there for the day, just strap it on. And a porteur rack like this is a great platform for a front basket. Simple way to throw everything that you want to bring with you right in there keep an eye on it, and take it with you. If you have any cool or creative ways to make use of the bike racks on your bike, let us know in the comments. If you have any questions about this bike, the racks, or the products used in this video, please reach out. The contact information is on your screen.